Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. So, I don't know if you're like me, but I have to use, for my work, um, multiple kinds of computers pretty much every day, interchangeably. I have to use a Mac for Apple development, I have to use Windows for Windows Store development. I don't have to use Linux, but I do because I like it. And now I also use Chrome OS Flex pretty regularly for this uh, YouTube channel and whatnot. And so when you're going back and forth between different systems, you have to have a way to be able to get files from one to the other. And um, networking's good. Uh, Chrome OS Flex, as we talked about on this channel, does have good s the ability to connect and interact with Samba file shares, which is Windows network shares. Um, but you can't share files off of the Chrome OS using that method. But one thing that is, um, you know, every kind of computer can use is an external hard drive. Uh, but it's not as simple as it might seem because every operating system has a different file system that it likes to use for external hard drives. For example, on a Mac, now they're kind of the APFS for everything. Windows, NTFS for everything. Linux... I usually use EXT for, um, there's a whole lot of file systems for Linux. And then Chrome OS Flex has its own thing. So we're, so what do you do if you use every single kind of system and you want to go between everything? Um, I have a four terabyte external hard drive plugged into this Chrome OS Flex box right now. And I'm just going to uh, say format and I hope I don't accidentally say yes on that. But the, uh, Systems that are supported on Chrome OS Flex for formatting are FAT32, XFAT, and NTFS. Now, I do know for a fact that Chrome OS Flex can also read an EXT4 hard drive because I've done that before and it worked. But um, for actually formatting it yourself, these are your options. And so I'm going to kind of go through these and tell you uh, which one might be best for. Uh, if you're going to want to interop between different systems. Now FAT32 is one that works on pretty much any device you're going to find, but it's also old school and it has a huge limitation. That limitation is that um, you can't have really big file sizes. There's a limit, I think it's 4 gigs, which might seem big, but I mean there's ISO files that are bigger than 4 gigabytes, there's videos that are bigger than 4 gigabytes. You can run up into this limitation pretty quickly. And um, then there's XFAT, which is kind of a newer version of FAT32. It does not have the file size limits, and um, the partition size limits are really big on XFAT. And it now works on Mac, Windows, Linux, and Chrome OS. It's probably the one I'd recommend, so we'll talk more about that later. And then there's NTFS, which um, obviously works on Chrome OS Flex 2. It works on Windows. That's the default file system for Windows. It, you can make it work on most Linux distributions, and on Mac, probably you can make it work. I don't think Mac supports it out of the box. It might now on newer versions, but uh, I, I wouldn't swear to that. So the one I would use is XFAT, <clears throat> but there are some caveats because I've had problems with XFAT, especially on Mac, where I'd have the hard drive plugged in and... Um, then something would get corrupted, like moving it from one computer to another. And it usually happens if you unplug the hard drive without ejecting it properly. And the reason why this would be a problem to me, on a Mac at least, is because if you know Macs, they don't have any ports. So you always have to have like some kind of dongle or a USB hub plugged into it. And for some reason, the USB hub would lose power. Thus, the hard drive would be unplugged without um, being shut down properly. Or the Mac would go to sleep and it would shut down the hub and it would unplug your hard drive without properly being ejected. And um, then that would cause corruption and you'd have to repair the hard drive before you wanted to use it again. And I've had that problem a lot with XFAT. Now, if you're not plugging into a laptop or something that's gonna be losing power often, or if you're not keeping it plugged in all the time, it, you're probably not gonna run into any issues. So, that's the one I'd use, and the reasons are for what I said. It's It works on every system now. It's uh, native on Windows. I think it was actually developed by Microsoft. It um, It is now built into the Linux kernel, so every Linux distribution should be able to read it. It is built into Mac, no software needed, and it is built into Chrome OS Flex, and so I think it's the most hassle-free. It's um, I think most SD cards and USB sticks are gonna be are gonna come by default with either FAT32 or XFAT nowadays. So it's just pretty much become the standard. 
it doesn't have a lot of the features as like NTFS or the Apple file system or the EXT4 does, but that might not matter for external hard drive. It does have a lower overhead, so sometimes you might actually get faster read and write speeds with it. So that's what I do. Um, but you guys can let me know in the comments what you think. I know some people have said on the channel that they've actually had problems um, using XFAT drives on Chrome OS Flex. I haven't experienced any, but some of you might have. You can let everybody know in the comments what you think. But for most external hard drives, I kind of tend to use XFAT now just because it works on every system out there. And it doesn't have that many problems. But then, then again, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like the video. And I hope you all have a good day.